Hello and welcome to another edition of HS Game Time Live. I'm Kyle Glazer alongside Eric Paul Johnson. We have a lot of great football games, including a few that will decide league championships, final week of the regular season. Go over to the Big 8 right away. Eric, Norco Centennial, what are you looking for in this one? You know, this has been a long-time rivalry. Every year this has pretty much determined the Big 8 league title. But yeah, I think it's the first time in six or seven years the last game is going to settle, you know, the, the, the entire title. Norco right now, they've gotten things together after a very rough start. They've won four straight, absolutely routed uh, Santiago last week, 49-14. to 14. We know Victor Veramonis is a great playmaker at, um, at the quarterback position, and their defense is stepping up four interceptions last week against Blake Bardet. You know, as we've mentioned, not going to pick against Centennial. What I want to <laughs> see is how Victor Viramontes does against Centennial because the Norco's also going into the Pac-5 playoffs. I think we'll learn a lot about what they can handle moving forward. If Centennial blows them out, maybe they're first-round fodder. If they can hang for a little bit, maybe that'll tell us they're uh, able to win a game or two. Now, one thing with Viramontes last uh, year, he did have 300 total yards against Centennial, so I think him, that's definitely going to be on Centennial's uh, game plan to slow him down. Another game to look at, Redlands East Valley versus Carter. Once again, they're both entering unbeaten in league. Winner takes the cake. Who do you like, Eric? You know, I like Redlands East Valley in this matchup. I think they've been playing strong. Their strength of schedule, I think, has really prepared them for a big game like this. And I don't kind of see them slipping away. We know Carter can play some pretty good defense, though, overall, sh shutting out Chaparral earlier this um, earlier the, this year or so. But I, th I, I kind of like Rev right now. I think they have the great balance at, on offense, Armando Herrera and a very solid defensive squad. Absolutely. Redlands East Valley, similar to Centennial. You're not going to pick against them. I think this will be the first time Rev's been tested, though, in a few weeks. So I want to see how they respond. And they're going to go in, uh, presuming they win this one, as the Inland Division's number one team. I think this is a great game to have right before you go into the playoffs because you'll be fine-tuned. Uh, another game that's also intriguing, not for a league title, but for a playoff spot. Paloma Valley, Temesco Cannon in the Sun Belt League. Paloma's probably favored. Does Temescal have a shot? Yeah, I think they definitely do right now. Um, we do have a lot of playoff matches that are going to you know, determine playoffs. So this is a direct winner is in the playoffs. Um, Temesco County, you look at the last two weeks, their defense has really stood up pretty well. You know, held Heritage you know, in check for a while and held Elsinore to 14 points last week and forced a couple turnovers. I do like Elsinore in, in this matchup. I think they just have too many weapons um, on there. But I do expect a, a close game in this one. I will say, when I saw Paloma Valley's quarterback, Rain Kahiku Paiva, <laughs> say that three times fast, I was very, very impressed. Dual threat, big, strong kid. I think Temesco Canyon's defense, which has been very good, will have its hands full. And once again, I think the third place team in the Sun Belt League might have a chance to pull an upset here in, once we get into the playoffs. So whoever wins this game, I want to see them play really, really well possibly take some momentum in. You know, you talked about Paloma's quarterback there. I, I could definitely be one of the better linebackers I've seen all year, Austin Quickie um, at Temesco Canyon. No doubt he's going to have his eyes in the, in the backfield in there and making sure, you know, you don't see too much, too much going on there. Another one that'll be for a league title, Mountain Valley League, City Rivalry, Moreno Valley, Vista Del Lago. Vista has not been in a position to win a league title pretty much ever. Ever. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you kind of look at this. I, I like how Marina Valley has been playing. They had that big hiccup of a game against Pacific, but ever since then, they've bounced back really strong. They kind of have the pedigree. I kind of like them right now to pull this off, but we know with Vista Del Lago, Terrell Lee can take over a game 305 yards last week to put him in this position to play for a league championship. Going to be a close one, but I'm going to go with the Tyler Twins and Marina Valley to pull this one out. No question Marina Valley's favored. Vista Del Lago, if they can ride the emotion and then channel that, not get too excited, it'll be interesting. I think we mentioned Terrell Lee, big game, ball control. If they can keep the ball out of the hands of the Tylers, I think that Vista Del Lago will have a shot, but Moval's definitely the favorite. All right, well, that'll do it for Week 10. We've got a lot of great games. We're looking forward to covering them, and I'm sure you're looking forward to reading them. For Eric Paul Johnson, I'm Kyle Glazer. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll see you in the playoffs.